Game number four of the World Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Los Angeles Angels. Now, game three was not the Reds night. It is a walk-off home run victory for Mike Trout and the Angels to put them up two games to one here in this fall classic. So tonight for the Reds, it is all about evening things up and we will see the pitching matchup in a minute we have finally got past the big three of lefties for the angels in this series meaning a right-handed pitcher is back on the mound and the reds get to go back to their normal lineup with ellie de la cruz in the leadoff spot with matt mcclain back in the nine joey gallo back in as the first baseman and bryce harper returns to the outfield as well so again the righty on the mound for the angels and as for the cincinnati reds it will be nick Lado the man that placed third in the Cy Young voting just this last season. So Lodolo with a win will try to ensure that this series does head back to Cincinnati for at least a game number six. Again, you really don't want to fall down three games to one here. So the Reds trying to even this one up at two games a piece. And folks, if you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more MLB The Show 24 and the Reds franchise mode here on the channel. Pitching for the Angels, it is Chase Silseth. ERA at 4.35 in the postseason, one in a record, 10 and a third pitched. Ellie Taylor Cruz will lead things off with a drag butt single. Only two hits last night for the Reds, and Ellie will immediately get one here in game four, and then he gets thrown out. Logo to Hoppy has played a very good series so far behind the dish for the Angels, and it's really hurt us in a moment like that where someone finally gets the 99 speed Taylor Cruz. It's rough. Bryce Harper walks, bringing up Kyle Tucker. Harper's running on a 3-2, obviously. That one is skied, and it drops in right field. There's a dive by Tyler O'Neill, but he doesn't get there. Harper scores. Tucker goes all the way to third with a triple. He's in there. A two-out triple for Kyle Tucker makes it one nothing Reds just like that. They've already matched their run total in game number three. Will Benson unfortunately strikes out, but the Reds take the lead with Nick Lodolo on the mound. The reason he hasn't pitched till game four is because of that ERA. 4.61, he is 0-2 in the postseason so far. Over around 13 innings, he will get Luke Rayleigh to strike out. Here comes Zach Neto. There's a swing and a miss on a fastball. Two gone for Mike Trout, the walk-off hero. Trout will strike out. So Lodolo strikes out the side in the bottom of the first. We kick off the top of the second with a horrendous looking swing by the third baseman, Spencer Steer. One out for Joey Gallo on the 2-2. Gallo pulls one hard. Oh, man. 101 off the bat and a sliding play by Brandon Lau to throw him out. Shea Langliers gets a center cut fastball and just misses it. It's flown out into right and caught by Tyler O'Neill. We go to the bottom of the second. Jake Bowers leading things off for the Angels. He's the first Angel to put the ball in play. And there will be a fly out to TJ Friedel in right center. Logan O'Hoppy on the 1-2 pitch is going to take that Spencer Steer-like swing. He will ground out to Matt McClain. Two outs for Tyler O'Neill on the 2-2. Two -two. We've talked about O'Neill's struggles in this World Series other than that home run that he hit earlier in the series. He will pop out. Matt McClain now comes up to kick off the top of the third, and he will fly out into right field over to Tyler O'Neill. One gone for Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie will get popped out. Pitch away. He just misses it. Ellie is a little under that fastball. And of course, that's the result that's going to come out of that. Two gone the inning for TJ Friedel. 2 2 pitch. Pitch number 50 for the Angels starting pitcher. And Friedel goes down on strikes. But again, Lodolo has been really good tonight. Another strikeout of Giancarlo Jimenez. Eugenio Suarez will get flown out into left field. There is Bryce Harper. Two down, nine spot up. That means Brandon Lau, another lefty-lefty batter and matchup. And Lodolo will get him on a slurve. Three shutout innings. The Angels are still yet to produce a hit as Bryce Harper will start off this top of the fourth by grounding out. Kyle Tucker on the 1-1 pitch will hit one on the ground to the second baseman over in Brandon Lau. Two gone, five spot up. Will Benson, the multi-time all-star, will strike out in a fastball as we go on to the bottom of the fourth. Luke Grayley leading things off for the Angels. Hits one the opposite field. But there is Bryce Harper. That is the first out of the inning. Now up the two spot, Zach Neto. Full count offering. Neto with somewhat of a golf swing, but that ball is going to be caught by TJ Friedel in center field. We've got two outs for Mike Trout on the one two Trout lines one there is his first hit since last night's home run to walk it off Trout's on with the two out single bringing up Jake Bowers in the two two Bowers though rolls over right to Joey Gallo 
to the fifth inning. Still 1-0 Reds. This series has been a little bit low scoring. But right there, Spencer Steer gets on with the walk. Joey Gallo now hits one up the middle. You gotta be kidding me. I want to play Brandon Lau. Bare hand by the shortstop, Zach Neto. And the Angels turn two on Joey Gallo. Could have had first and second no outs. And the Angels with a tremendous play in the field to back their guy and to keep this score 1-0. That's a huge play in this game. I understand they are still losing, but that is a huge play. Two gone the inning after the Tyler O'Neill ground out. Giancarlo Jimenez on the 3-2 pitch. Hits one in the air. There is TJ Friedel. Nick Lodolo is through five scoreless as we go on to the top of the sixth inning. Matt McLean leads things off. We, we got to ta stop taking those bad swings. Again, that is on me. But those swings just need to go away. Ellie De La Cruz, those are the swings we need to keep producing. Ellie takes that slider. Yes, it was dead center, but he takes it into center field. It took him this long, but Ellie De La Cruz finally hits his first home run of this postseason. 447 feet. That was a bomb to center field. Two nothing Reds. And with the way Lodolo's pitching, that may be all they need. Obviously, we're going to look for more as Jose Suarez, the lefty, now takes the mound for Los Angeles, and he will get TJ Friel to fly out that fastball into left field to Jake Bowers. Two gone for Bryce Harper on the 2-1 pitch. Bryce skies a fastball, but I just don't think it's got the carry. It goes all the way to the warning track, but it's caught by Tyler O'Neill. We move to the bottom half of the sixth thing. Eugenio Suarez up first. He hits a tapper to Shea Langoliers, and oh my goodness. Just an inch off on that throw. Oh, man. Lead runner gets on. Nicola Dolo will get Brandon Lau to fly out into right field. That runner on first again is not his responsibility. Luke Rayleigh on the 1-2. Softly taps one in the center. Suarez will go to third. All right, TJ Friedel going to make the throw. Don't run on him. Oh, tagged down by Steer. They get him. That was close. I don't know. We'll take it. No review. Two gone. Zach Neto. That is a really bad and a really risky pitch by Lodolo, but he gets Neto to fly out. To the top of the seventh, we kick things off with Kyle Tucker as he will slap one in the opposite field. Kyle Tucker's on with a leadoff single. He'll be on first base for Will Benson. Benson hits one up the middle. There's back-to-back -back knocks for the Reds. They're not going to take that one away like they did to Gallo. First and second, no outs. Steer up on the 2-2 pitch up the middle. That's the one thing you cannot have. The Angels turn two. Down goes Steer. Tyler Stevenson is in to pinch hit for Joey Gallo. He lines one into center field, but right to Mike Trout. So Stevenson will stay in the game and play first base. He can do that as Mike Trout, did he do it again? Trout deep left field. Harper can't get there. The Angels have cut the lead in half. Mike Trout has scored the last two runs and the last two home runs for this Angels team. It's his sixth, 387 feet. Dunn is Lodolo. Enter Michael Kopech. He will get Jake Bowers first. He'll get him to look at that fastball. There's strike three. One down, Logan O'Hoppy. There's a chopper, two short, right two. Ellie De La Cruz, two down. Here comes Tyler O'Neill on the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss on a slider, down and away. We go to the top of the eighth. 2-1 lead for the Reds. Can they get some insurance runs? Shea Langliers has been very quiet. He will continue to be quiet. One gone. Matt McLean's the batter. Hits one on the ground. That ball's going to get through. Matt McLean is on with a one-out single to extend the inning, at least for now. Obviously, one out, but here comes Ellie De La Cruz. He'll fly that fastball in the center field. There will be your second out of the inning, bringing into the box the center fielder, TJ Friedel. Full count offering. Runner goes, and Friedel skies that fastball into right field over to Tyler O'Neill. All right, to the bottom of the eighth, Garrett Crochet will try to keep the score where it is and get the hold. 1.8 ERA over five games pitched so far in the postseason. And Giancarlo Jimenez immediately knocks us up. The Reds have been leading for seven and a half innings. And now Giancarlo Jimenez ties this game up. It's exactly what you can't have if you're the Reds. Again, it's kind of reminiscent of last night. It kind of is. It's a 2-2 game. We will see where we end up, but we got to, at least for now, keep this one at 2-2. Two two. Cannot let this go any farther, and we will as Luke Rayleigh flies out in the left field. 
Can the Reds score for the first time in a couple innings? Well, Jose Suarez is still pitching and Bryce Harper strikes out in a fastball off and in. Not ideal, Kyle Tucker slows the bat path and slows the bat down to get to that slurve. That's your second out the inning. Bringing in Will Benson on the one-two pitch. Benson strikes out in a fastball. Bottom nine time. I'm looking at the availability of arms and I'm trying to keep Bautista all right until we need him for the save. So I'm gonna bring in DeAndre Wilder. And that's it. Zach Neto with a walk-off home run. Back-to-back -back nights for the Angels where they walk off the Reds. Insane. 3-2 is your final. The Reds win game number four. And they are now one game away from winning the World Series here in 2027. It wasn't even a bad pitch, I don't think, by DeAndre Wilder. It's up and in. Neto pulls it, keeps the hands in, and that's your game. Again... Not much can be done about that. The Angels win, the Reds blow another lead, and now they will look to come back from down three games to one. It will be tough, but if a team has the capability of doing it, it is the reigning champions in the Reds, but my goodness, that is a disastrous collapse. We could easily be up 3-1 right now, and now look where we are. It's rough. It is rough. Folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 80 of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. If you have not yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. And Mamba, forever.